Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? <laughs> Guess he didn't see that coming. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Had about enough of you and your eyebrow. Who wrote this, a two-year-old? <laughs> oh, don't give me that smug face, Ben Affleck. Where's my real ending here? That right there was freaking luck. His dad's his weakness right there. Shiku Haruka to the face. Oh, go! go, baby. Woo! <laughs> what is up, my peeps? Welcome back to the Persona 5 Royal Playthrough. I am your host, of course, Mr. Espinoza X. And in the last episode, the Phantom D's were playing the waiting game okay. to see if the change of heart truly was going to work. Um... And then 11 days later, come to find out Kamoshida admitted to his crimes um, through a school assembly and everything like that, which was pretty shocking and stuff. Um, he wanted to kill himself, but Aunt told him, like, you better not back down, you fucking bastard. Admit to your crimes and everything and deal with it. And thus, it happened. Kamoshida is now locked up. Yes. And pretty much made a lot of headlines and everything like that. So, yeah. So, now, pretty much we got to, you know, keep our head low. And, you know, while at the while at the celebration and everything, we've agreed that we want to continue as Phantom Thieves and everything like that. He even came up with a clever name and stuff. Known as the Wet Bandits. <laughs> uh, yes, an inspiration that was from Home Alone. I remembered, like, literally... I I remember when playing Vanilla Persona 5, um, I think I was in a voice chat with uh, my fellow brothers in, in Planet X and everything like that. When I got to that part and everything, I was like, oh, I could come up with a name. Like I remember I was like, man, but I don't know what to name it and everything. I'm like, it's the thing. I'm never good at like that type of stuff and everything like that. It did take me a while. Uh, to fully uh, come up with Planet X and everything like that and stuff because I wanted to do something kind of unique and everything um, and stuff um, and you know luckily my fellow brothers agreed on it and everything and yeah um, so I, 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 I was like man I didn't know what to come up with I think when we because usually on the discord server we uh, do like some movie movie nights and everything like that and i remembered like freaking i remembered freaking um you know it was like you know what i'm named the wet band is after the wet band from home alone <laughs> so yeah but here we're pretty much like the whole process i'm just sh kind of showing i know i shouldn't i i know like many of you guys are wondering like why are you doing this even though you're already ranked fully ranked up i just wanted to kind of show off like what can you get out of it and everything like that so yeah so we were watching a movie that helps us improve on our charm and everything like that again when watching dvds it does take about two settings to fully complete it and to fully watch the whole thing and stuff and and everything and but i think it's like when reading a book it does you don't like on the first setting you don't uh your stats don't go up but the second time but like the second setting like reading the book you'll definitely will show your uh your social stat go up and everything like that but with dvds is like with the two settings like you could definitely um you could de uh, like each one you'll get uh stat uh you'll get some stat boost on your social stat and everything like that depending on what you're reading or what you're i mean what you're watching on in the dvd and everything like that so yes but yeah so i was like oh you know what i'm gonna come up with the the wet bandits and everything i think when i first time playing persona 5 royal because i know they changed i know uh marvin harry changed their name to the sticky bandits in home alone 2. sadly that didn't fit so what I ended up doing, I just, I think, what did I do? I think I put Sticky Bandits together, but I didn't include the S. I just put Sticky Bandit. I don't know. I, I told, I, 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 it didn't work out and stuff. So I was like, I'll just continue with the Wet Bandits and everything like that. That's always been my, my name, the, the name, the go-to name whenever playing Persona 5 Roy and everything like that. So yeah. But again, you it 
it only matters when you're like on a network but during the game yeah there will be moments where they'll call you the, the wet bandits and everything um and stuff but they won't fully say that they'll probably like say just uh phantom thieves and everything but you'll see like in the text box it'll say wet bandits and stuff or like whatever name you tr ended up choosing for your team name and everything like that so yeah but that's pretty much like a network thing like whenever like people see like what like if pe like whenever you go to network and you're coming up with like decisions of what to do net like in a, in a day or something like that um you'll see like the you'll like what they'll see from your perspective like what you've done this day pretty much that's pretty much what it is so yeah um and everything um honestly to be honest with you guys i don't really use the network feature on this game i really don't in the beginning it tells you if you want to can if you want to connect to the network but i never do it i honestly don't know why um and stuff i really don't like out of the times playing it i never do and everything i don't know why maybe maybe sometime when i kind of when i probably complete this playthrough and stuff like that maybe i will just to kind of see like what what's pretty much what's it about but it's it's pre it does explain to you in the game it's just pretty much saying like oh like you can see like what percentage of people have done pretty much in this day and stuff like that so yeah and i think also there's gonna be moments where like i guess um a shadow will capture a teammate um, and everything like that and I think you can send in backup to save that teammate from people who from other people who've played the game and everything like that and stuff rather to rather than give up what the the shadow wants you to give up and everything so yeah um, this is pretty much telling us forming a contract with confidants which we've already done and everything and stuff. Sometimes this game is kind of a little too late. Like, you know, you just figure it out. Something I'm like, why is it telling me now? But I don't know. I, I guess it's just a little reminder. I'm not complaining. I'm not like freaking the one in Sonic Forces where it says, hey, press press this button and jump. Like, yeah, I know that. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, what is now there left to do? Well, now that Kamashita pretty much admitted his crimes. We've already agreed that, you know, we still want to continue as Phantom Thieves or Web Bandits um, and stuff. Now it's just pretty much living an honest student life, you know, keeping our heads low and everything. Make sure not bring up any more attention than what we already have and everything like that. Especially since rumors are going around. Since pretty much, you know, rumors are like talking about me and uh, Ryuji and everything like that. Like, you know, maybe, you know, it's, it's a little, uh, I don't, I think it's a coincidence, but freaking, you know. The, these phantom thieves sent these calling card to kamashita and then like you know uh freaking joker or, or i mean like well uh esp which we named our, the character um and ryuji are you know kind of a little suspicious you know they, they i heard they you know been uh getting into it uh they've been like kind of like getting into like you know um confrontation with kamashita pretty much so yeah um and stuff so we just pretty much got to keep our head down low until you know we find the next target who is that next target we will find out yes um and stuff but anyway um i do know that there is going to be some exams coming later on and everything so yeah it's pretty much like a uh, high school simulator and everything you're living a life of a, a student of a high school student and everything you're making friends and stuff like that um and stuff while pretty much going into you know a um a uh, another world known as the metaverse pretty much and everything remember that in high school you know you teleported to the metaverse and everything started stopping shadows changing hearts and everything like you remember that i remember that <laughs> but yeah it's it's pretty much that it's just like you know um it's every single persona game it's you know you're living the life of a student who's pretty much got caught up in like some type of thing in regards to another world and everything like that that's pretty much the persona games and stuff so in general and stuff um i will say this um 
I was aware of Persona 5. I, I, that's one game that I, that I was aware of, even before Joker was announced in Smash Brothers um, and everything. Um, I, I was aware of Persona 5. I knew, like, you know, back in 2012, which I think a year, like, a year after 2012, uh, 2013, the game was supposed to come out, but it got delayed and everything like that um, and stuff. Um, I just wasn't... <laughs> I didn't know there was a Persona 4, 3, 2, or 1. Like, I, I was not aware of any of that whatsoever. Again, I am not the biggest when it comes to RPGs and everything. Like, yeah, I'll sit there. I, I've played probably just two Final Fantasy games. I've played uh, all the Pokemon games and everything, except Violet I, I, or Scarlet and Violet. I still need to play that those games and everything like that. I've just been caught up playing... Um, other games and everything like that um, and stuff um, like I think honest like that's probably just the only RPGs I've played besides uh, Persona 5 and everything or Persona 5 Royal and I would definitely love to play Persona 4 and everything I've seen the anime excuse me did you wish to see me Principal Kobayakawa you saw the state Kamoshida kun was in didn't you it's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young. Yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes. If you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. I would definitely love to play Persona 4 um, and everything like that. Um, uh, I remembered uh, two of my former, uh, uh, two of people that I used to work with at Target and everything like that who've played the Persona games and everything. Oh, like, you know, I told them, like, oh, yeah, I started playing Persona 5 and everything like that. And I was all like, oh, you're playing the Final Fantasy 7 of Persona games and everything like that um, and stuff. You, what you really need to play is Persona 4. Like, that's the Persona game you need to play and everything like that. I've been hearing a lot of good things about Persona 4. I... I have seen the anime. I will admit, I have seen the anime and everything. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna sit here and say, yeah, I played Persona 4. Yeah, but no, I've, I've only seen the anime. 
just so I could get kind of like a little refresher um, of what's going on because I definitely did want to play uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and everything like that. So yeah, I, I will say uh, yeah. Um, but a lot I remember telling that to one of them like yeah I've uh, started playing Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and everything like that. And they were telling me like um, you do know that's a sequel, right? I'm like I know. I know, I know, I know it's a sequel. And I was all like, but you haven't played Persona 4 yet. I'm like, no, but I've seen the anime. And they all look at me like, oh, God. I'm like, what? It's a good anime. <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought the anime was good. There were some funny moments that I enjoyed from that anime and everything. Like, everybody did good. My boy Johnny Young Bosch, the the Black Rain, the Black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the second one. He did a good job as you, Narukami, and everything. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> uh, but don't worry. Don't worry because freaking Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are going to be released on modern consoles um, in December 19th. Oh. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Ush Mr. Ushimaru. Please don't hurt me. Oh, whoop. Oh. Did not. Nope, not today. <laughs> the only way you could dodge that is have a really great proficiency. Yes, um, and stuff. Obviously, since I am playing this, uh, since I pretty much overrided this on my new game file. Yeah, we we've pretty much got the stats up. But I mean, if your proficiency uh, stat wasn't up and everything. Yeah, it would hit you and everything like that. So, yeah. But if you have good enough proficiency, you're still able to pretty much, um, you know, dodge it and get uh, your charm stats up and everything. Um, the what now? Um, I don't know. Uh, the, the what now? Huh? D dude, uh, personal space, please. Yeah, give me some space, will you? <laughs> oh, if things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Kamoshida used me, and I did some horrible things to you guys. This Damn right you did. For me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Uh, that's great and all, but um, I, I honestly help me out. Help me out with what? This is a whole big misunderstanding. I'm not sure what you're talking about. That's all I needed to say. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this um, so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? Sounds like fun. It's totally up to you. I'll live up to your expectations. I promise. I sent some high expectations for Mishima. So then the teacher tried to throw a chalk at me because I wasn't paying attention in school and well, I dodged that like nothing. There were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. Mm-hmm. What do you have to say to that? Well I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the moon persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And thus we have acquired the Moon Arcana, Yuki Mishima. Yes, 
we got a new ability which allows backup members to earn e exp yes i will say mishima is a very handy con uh confidant and everything like that because it all revolves around xp and everything like that the more uh the more rank you go up um, and everything, like, pretty much, you know, it, it's all between, like, you know, us earning more XP pretty much and everything. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the words for that. That's pretty much what to say and everything like that. But, yeah, it's, it, like, we get more XP um, once we rank up more on the Moon Arcana pretty much pretty much and everything like that. excuse me um and stuff <clears throat> and we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one once we do we'll have to head into another palace we just gotta so kind of like take it easy because you Wait. know oh, oh boy <laughs> what's with you <laughs> don't we have an exam coming up oh well, yeah that's what i was talking in the beginning ryuji exams you gotta study up buddy that's what we gotta do Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. Damn. Questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists. Oh boy. Bring it. Oh boy. Will you two Ryuji's stop trying it? to fight an innocent cat. <laughs> Ryuji's trying to fight an innocent cat. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, now pretty much it's like you know, exams coming up and everything. We just pretty much got to keep our heads down low and everything like that until we find the next target. But for now, it's pretty much almost time for exams and everything like that. There are various things to do around the city before your next target. Try to listen to rumors and visiting different locations. Probably you'll meet someone who has, depending on relationships with your confidant, can build various benefits up to the fan of these. Use your time wisely. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and we can start now. Like at this point now, we can start hanging out with On. And everything, which is the Lover's Arcana, which we unlocked um, during, uh, I believe it's chapter two, chapter, I think it was chapter two um, of the Castle of Lust. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 it was. Okay, yeah, I was like, wait, what chapter was it again? Oh, yeah, chapter two and everything like that. But this is, I do believe you do need, uh... Oh, I think it's like level two kindness, I think. Yeah, level two kindness in order to pretty much start hanging out with On and everything like that and stuff. So um, if you just want to start hanging out with On, start building up on that kindness and everything like that. So yeah, again, like I said before, the movies on the DVD, um, freaking uh, reading the books and everything like that um and stuff and pretty much since we have the pix we have pixie as a persona which is of the lovers arcana we could pretty much you know earn double uh, the moral when hanging out with on and everything like that so yeah so again uh level two uh kindness in order to hang out with on and everything like that so yes so if you want to start hanging out with on i do totally recommend start building up the kindness and everything like that so yeah Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about, ESP. It's Shiho. Well, I went to visit her in the hospital. She... She says she was sorry. Sorry for not telling me about Kamoshida, about all the things he was doing to her. But it was my fault too. I didn't realize how much trouble she was in. I wasn't there for her. So I apologized as well. Again, uh, you got to choose the right dialogue in order to grab more moral and everything like that. So, <laughs> totally recommend this one. <laughs> Isn't she? Shiho really is a great girl. I'm glad I finally got to tell her everything I couldn't bring myself to say before. And um, 
remember how Kamashiro threatened to take Shiho off the team if I didn't sleep with him? I had only agreed to it so that I wouldn't ruin Shiho's dreams. But now that I think about it, he never would have put her on the bench and cost her his team games. I seriously should have dared him to try and take her starting spot. But in the end, maybe I just didn't believe in her ability. You can't blame yourself. Oh. You think so? All of this happened because how weak I am. That's why I believe Kamashita's authority outweighed Shiho's own ability to earn her starting spot. Um. ESP, do you remember the last time I talked to you like this? When I got that phone call from Kamashita and cried? I felt so alone, scared even. But because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it, but I see now ju you just wanted to help. Thanks. Thanks. I just couldn't ignore you. You're so kind, ESP. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. <sighs> Prissy bitch, Kamashita's girl, I got tired of it pretty much. But to tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to take labels like that and stride. Hey. hey, um, personas are the power of heart, right? That means if my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. So, I want to strengthen my heart, and I want to use that strength to help the people around me. I hope we can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamashita's heart. Hmm. Though, honestly, I don't even know what strong is, but I'm going to find the answer, I promise. And I will help. Let's find it together. Huh? Really? Thanks. Thanks. I feel like I'm a little stronger today already. <laughs> guess I didn't. Guess that doesn't really count though. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> well, I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. I sense a heightened motivation from on. And thus, we are now rank 2 into the Lover's Arcana. We have gained a new ability called Girl Talk. If negotiating with a female shadow fails, you can try again. Yes. A strong heart. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How about this? I won't get any refills on my fountain drinks. I mean, they're free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. Uh, is that not right? Bye. Well, see you later. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey, it's me. Thanks for listening to what I had to say earlier. Now I feel like I have a better idea of who I want to be. Also, I'm going to think of how I can strengthen my heart. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I hope you'll join me again next time. Of course. You're my teammate. Thanks. You're such a nice guy. Oh, how about you help me come with what ways to train my heart? Just let me know when you're when a really good idea hits you, okay? Bye. That's Hello. The key to this place. 
Oh, okay. To lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? <laughs> I definitely won't. <laughs> you can now leave Yogan Jaya at night. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Now we can pretty much travel wherever we want to go at this point. Yes. Whew, there is definitely a lot to do and everything like that. So, yeah. Also, there is only confidants. To, there's only events from confidants that are only triggered during the evening and everything like now that. Listen. So, yeah. Um, and stuff. So, there is a lot of opportunities out there, guys. We can now... Go at night. You could go anywhere and stuff. You know what? There's actually one thing that we have to do. And that's, if you guys remember, the airsoft, airsoft shop owner gave us a bag. Yeah. You got to definitely check that out, what that means and everything like that um, and stuff. Medjid Menace. Hmm. Okay. That boosts up our knowledge. I don't know. For some reason, I even though I'm already like ranked my stats up and everything like that. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> I, I. I still buy the. I still buy the books. I still. Um. And everything. I hardly ever buy the DVDs, but I. I still buy buy the stuff and everything like that. So yeah. But anyway, here we are. It's time to see what's inside the bag. Okay, okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We got, we have acquired the right police, um, customizable airsoft pistol. Hmm. Hey. It definitely does. Yeah, it definitely does. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. So. Here's the thing, though, since I pretty much have um, my all my stats to max and everything like that. In order to pretty much activate this event, you need a level four guts. Yeah. Um, and stuff. You probably won't, at this point, won't trigger Iwa's uh, confidant events and everything um and stuff probably not until i mean if you do kind of focus more on like upgrading your guts and everything like that that's totally fine but i honestly what i totally recommend up at this point um and everything because i know uh on's kindness is level two in order to trigger her events and level four for Iwas and everything i think in the beginning you should definitely focus on guts and kindness pretty much up at this point and stuff so yeah at your age yeah my age yeah well i guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast <laughs> you're a strange one kid wait a sec you're a strange one for trusting a yeah, kid to go good. inside in the back of your store i can grant that wish of yours but you better have the money these things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. Um, uh, not sure that falls, but it does sound a bit suspicious. <laughs> Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business, smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward. I'll oh damn, this is some shady stuff. Hold on. <laughs> punk like you. What do you say? Dude, you're trusting this you're trusting all that stuff to a freaking high schooler? <laughs> it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible deal. A pawn, huh? Is that what you consider me? Rude. Won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept his offer. Now what's it gonna be? 
gonna take my deal or not? Uh, well, there's a lot of. I have exams coming up, so okay. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. Get used to that line. That's his trait. That's his like uh, catchphrase. You should be grateful. Definitely grateful that you trust us with this shady business to a high schooler. <laughs> And then I made a deal with this weird dude who, like, totally, I believe, freaking works for a Yakuza or something. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it. Okay, okay, I'll spill it. A new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the hanged man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And thus we have acquired the hanged arcana, the weapons dealer Iwa, with a new ability. Starter customization allows you to customize your gun and install right. upgrades. Yes. So anytime we buy weapons from the, for every time we buy ranged weapons from this guy, we could pretty much upgrade it to either boost oh, yeah. up the well, damage and uh, and the and the uh, accuracy pretty much and stuff. So yeah. And the, and to be honest, there is going to be some weapons that very that have very powerful. Um, attack, but will have very low uh, accuracy and everything like that. So yeah, so this definitely comes in handy and everything. Iwa, I'm telling you guys right now, much like Takemi, it's very is a very useful uh, confidant and everything when it comes down to pretty much you know making your you and your team stronger and everything and stuff and dealing a lot of damage to shadows and stuff like that. So yeah, so this one I definitely do recommend. Uh, boosting up all the way to level 10 and everything like that so yes but again um, it, it requires in order to trigger his events you gotta be at least level 4 um, when it comes to guts and everything like that because you need guts to kind of tell him like about the bag that he gave you pretty much and stuff so yeah but anyway next day Ooh, buddy I wonder when the exam starts. Um, I totally forgot and everything. Yep, yep. Oh, thank you, uh, Miss Kaiwakami. All right, yeah. So Wednesdays will be the exams, and ooh, buddy. Hopefully, everyone has studied well. Hopefully, everyone has because um, pretty much all of these. Ooh, excuse me. All of these like little lectures um, uh, during like certain days and everything like that are pretty much followed up on the um, on the exams and everything leading up to like different different exams and everything like that as well and stuff. So, yeah, um, but I will say this and this is what I definitely did <laughs> during, um, you know, my first time playing the game and stuff like that. I pretty much Google the answers. I, I will admit. I, I definitely did that. I I definitely cheated. Um, I cheesed the game by doing that. So and everything like that. I just simply Google Persona 5 Royal Classroom answers and boom, there you go. That was lead me to a site um, that I have bookmarked. I will admit bookmarked on my uh, on my uh, on my Google Chrome and everything like that. So yeah, I, I will admit whenever I do play this game and stuff. So yeah. I mean, I, I don't have to, like, I don't know if there's a penalty um, to when you're doing bad in school and stuff and like answering all the exams, all, all the quest, all the, uh, all the questions from teachers and stuff. I, I'm not sure if there's a penalty on it and everything like that. I'm not really sure. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, 
but the only reason I do it is to pretty much build up my knowledge um, and stuff because that's the benefit of every answering everything right is you know uh, you're filling up your knowledge and everything like that so yeah <sighs> about their parents or their boyfriends. <laughs> ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. I guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Pretty much, yep. Are suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? I mean, that was the original plan. Just hold off until exams and everything. Whoa. Uh. Well, hello. Who are you? This place is off limits, you know. We'll get out of here. Well, why is it unlocked? Huh? Council president want with us. The troublemaker. Council president. And the infamous transfer student. Hmm. Interesting combination. Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Uh, not really. I mean, I barely transferred here. What are you on about? Yeah, you know, he's only been here a month or so. Hmm. Damn, it's really been a month? They used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamashita, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here is an upstanding guy. Well, thank you, Ryuji. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamashita. The rumors about that odd calling card esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima Senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? What? Ah, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What a freaking bitch! Gosh! That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. You gotta be careful though, guys. She's definitely on to us for sure. Yeah. Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. <laughs> Especially you, Ryuji, that's for sure. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so late. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? What's, what's Morgana on about? Where are we here? Got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Mm. Look for a post with a full name in it. A post with I a full name. Said, hmm. There's no info on any big shots. Don't you remember? <sighs> but man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's for real. Scary shit. You, you gotta put their whole business up there and everything. No wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's bad mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious? Yeah, like online stuff and every yeah, I totally agree on Morgana right there. His name is not Suhiko Nakanohara. A stalker. Now that's a good one right there. Government workers stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. Yeah, that that's a good one right there. Definitely we got to deal with that one for sure. Right into a palace? Fine by me. Into all that talk of unanimous yeah, Ryuji. Well, I mean, I kind of agree on it, but yeah. Let's go. I'm down. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, then. Let's go. We need a name and a place, right? 
So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Huh? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh... Mementos, was it? We got a hit? Hmm? Just as I thought. What? Mementos? What? Whoa. Uh, where is everybody? Dude, this is like literally... <laughs> this is literally looking like my job freaking on freaking holidays. <laughs> Oh. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. Underground. I don't quite oh. Understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. <laughs> Good thing you didn't hear that. I was going to freaking go off on you for calling him a cat. Clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us. We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is... What? Everyone's palace. What do you mean, everyone's? The palace of the people. A palace as hmm. grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now, Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared. You mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... Hmm. Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to Well, look so at the brains on on. <laughs> but this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? I mean, this is a big place. I'm not really down for just walking and everything. I mean, Kamoshida's Palace is one thing, but a whole subway... Um, yeah. No, wait, what's going on? Whoa! Dude! The talking cat just turned into a car. Holy shit! No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. But can you transform into a helicopter? Hmm. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this? I don't really think that was a bus. I mean, yeah, it's a shape like a bus, but it's more like a, if anything, like a van or something like that. <laughs> Stop pulling me. No, that's dangerous. <laughs> Panther, please be gentle. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, I'm so down. Um, why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. Oh, you can't drive I yourself? okay, I guess. Dude. I mean, I've played a couple driving games and and stuff like that. Okay. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. 
That tickles. Lower. Oh, my bad. Lower. I'm sorry. Oh, there. That feels so good. Uh, is that Bren I hear? <laughs> My meodery engine. It's <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome to the palace of the masses. Mementos. Yes. So pretty much Mementos, like any other Persona game, has this particular thing where you traverse into pretty much, um, you know, uh, either, I think Persona 3 had like that power and everything um and and stuff it's pretty much similar to that instead you're instead of going up you're going down and everything like that so you're pretty much it's like you know subway going underground and everything like that and stuff like that and everything so from time to time there's going to be moments where mishima will tell you let you know about certain um pretty much requests that people have made in the phantom if it's not a website and everything like that and stuff um and then it's your choice if you either want to accept it or just pretty much ignore it and everything like that and stuff um this area is definitely good for grinding up until then you go to the next palace pretty much and everything like that i totally Definitely recommend doing requests um, from the Phantom Aficionado website and everything. And pretty much, you know, uh, traverse through the underground, you know, fighting against shadows and everything. And fighting off against, uh, you know, people uh, who are not shadows of, you know, potential palace rulers and everything like that. And pretty much stopping them and changing their hearts um, and everything like that. So, yeah, I totally, I definitely, totally recommend doing this um, and stuff. Because I will say this now. I totally recommend you guys do this. Like, traverse through mementos whenever you get the chance. Because it will come out, it will come later at the end of the game. I will say this. This is very important. You may think it's all just, you know, just like a little side thing and everything that you, you know, you don't have to do and everything. But no, I, I did that same mistake. I, I definitely did the same mistake. I ignored most of the Phantom and the Aficionado requests. I ignored them and stuff. And later on in the game, I was like, okay, maybe, yeah, okay, oh, damn. So I'm just saying right now, guys, definitely do these whenever you guys get the chance and everything like that and stuff. I totally recommend uh, after you defeat a palace ruler and stuff like that um, and stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, yes. So pretty much, you know, you tra 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 there's certain areas in Mentos and everything. Right now we're in the first area and everything like that and stuff. There is a lot of areas and everything. So, yeah. So we're just barely like in the first area area and everything um and stuff um i forgot there each area has name a different name and everything like that i don't remember what it's called it'll probably pop up somewhere and everything but yeah you pretty much traverse through um you could like explore what's around you and everything like that there'll be shadows and stuff that you can pretty much battle and stuff like that and everything you know pretty much level grind up until like the next um you go up against, you, you go to the next palace pretty much and everything like that and stuff. And yeah, uh, yep, that is Mentos and everybody. And of course, you are, since, you know, the Phantoms don't feel like walking all the way down, Morgana could turn into pretty much, supposedly he says a bus. I kind of look more of it as a van, if anything, because it's... I, when I see a bus, I see like a really huge, wide bus, like a, a vehicle, pretty much. That I could just pretty much see is like a van and everything like that. So yeah, um, but yeah, you pretty much drive around, um, like yeah, it's just pretty much just you know, like you know, there's no uh, gasoline or 
um, if you crash, you know, you could damage the car or something like that. No, it, it's not any of that at all. And everything is just used to pretty much traverse faster into me deep into mementos and everything like that. So, yeah, um, and stuff. And what's really interesting, too, and everything is you when you when you're playing the um, I, I know there's different I when you're playing the PS4 or the PS5 version and everything like that. You could use the touchpad. You could press on the touchpad, and you'll hear like a very, uh, like a growling meow and everything like that. Like Morgana doesn't like that. But if you like, if you like, uh, rub your hands. Um, if you rub the touchpad and everything like that, it's pretty much implementing that you're petting uh, Morgana and everything. He's like, you start hearing the, like the purr sounds and everything. Like he's enjoying it and everything like that. I think that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty nice that they did that. I know with the Switch and the Xbox is a bit different since they don't have any touch pads and everything like that and stuff. I think, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit different and everything like that. So, yeah, um, and stuff. But um, anyway, you saw what On did, which was the sexy technique and everything like that. So that pretty much distracts the, sh the shadow that you're facing off against and everything pretty much like it's pretty much like a skip a turn uno card pretty much and everything like that that's what the sexy technique is it pretty much he'll like kind of distract the enemy and then that enemy will just get flabbergasted and he'll like forget to like do his like move on you on any of the members of the phantom d's pretty much that's what sexy technique is pretty much it's very useful it doesn't do it always it does it you know pretty much whenever or like it does it it, it definitely does it, um, you know, when it, it pretty much like, you know, it like when it matters, pretty much like it comes in very, it comes in handy. I will say that and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, and stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much you also will deal with strong shadows as well. The ones that are glowing up and everything like that. So, yeah, so we pretty much explored every single part of this area, um, but like much like any other like palace. You have the ability to pretty much recover and everything like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get inside this uh, scary looking portal um, and everything. We pretty much, yeah, we traversed already every single milk and cranny um, around this area and everything like that. All right, so the stalker is definitely upon us. So we're going to go ahead and go inside. Yes. But yeah, so... <clears throat> When it comes to the target you're looking for, when you when you accept the request and everything like that, um, pretty much uh, they'll be located um, in certain areas of mementos and everything like that. You'll you'll know when if the target is close. Morgana will say like, "Hey, I do sense that the target is close, or this target is in the area," um, and everything like that. And you'll see in the map, uh, like an exclamation point, like as like this targets right here and everything. And you go in and you pretty much kind of like whenever you go to a palace and you do those mini boss uh, stuff. This is pretty much what it is. Like it's like a mini boss fight and everything like that. So, yeah. So pretty much what Morgana said, these are people that are put, that could potentially be palace rulers and everything like that and stuff. They're pretty much hiding, growing and everything um, it really depends on what their desires are um, and so what they intend to do and everything like that. They're just hiding and it's like growing and everything like that. So yeah, in this case, we're facing off against the stalker known as Shadow Nakohara um, and everything like that. So yes, kind of looks like a beetle. Kind of, kind of, kind of dressed up like the beetle has the bow cut and everything. Nako Nohara. Yep, there we go. That's the name. Kind of like a, yeah, like a, like a beetle. Like he has the hair and everything like that. <laughs> hmm? Madarame? Who's that? Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Battling up against Shadow Nakohara. Na Na Nakoharama. Na Nako Nohara. Sorry about that. I, I do apologize for botching the name. <laughs> I definitely got to pay attention, but I will say this right now, um, like mini bosses, they're a bit stronger and everything like that. They won't, there's, I do believe, I don't necessarily know. I don't think, really think like whatever, um, you know, a shadow they are and everything like that. Um, 
their weakness sometimes won't work. Ooh, freaking lucky punch actually worked. Holy smacks. I thought that wasn't going to work and everything. Lucky punch. Oh, dude, like Morgana's lucky punch. Oh, it comes in very, very handy because it, it gives a chance to pretty much stun the enemy and everything like that, giving you a chance to pretty much. Oh, yeah, it actually does implement the weakness. All right. So, yeah, it's weaknesses like uh, electric attacks and everything like that. So, yeah, and stuff. Um, I will say this. I do tend to use the all out attack given the, when I'm given the chance. I will say that. That way I could deal with a lot more damage um, to the enemy to make the fight a little more faster and everything like that. Let's go ahead and use Pixie and everything. The only reason, um, and I, I do, I definitely do recommend this and everything like that um, to make the pro to make uh, the confidant events uh, a bit faster and everything like to rank up all the way to level ten is definitely um, you know getting the uh, personas of the same arcana from your confidants and everything like that. So say on is the lover's persona, is the lover's arcana, and pretty much Pixie is in that class and everything. So that's why I still keep Pixie around um, and everything like that. So maybe you guys are wondering, why are you not fusing Pixie with somebody, some other persona? Well, because I keep it just for, just for on. I know there's stronger, I know there's stronger uh, lover arcana personas and out there. But right now I'm just using Pixie for now and everything because I don't want to cheese the game and everything like that. I'm still using my basic, um, even though this, I am using the, um, a new file on the new game plus and everything like that um i just don't want to cheese the game and everything like that i i want to be where your guys are at pretty much and everything even though i chose to pretty much keep my uh social stats ranked up and everything so yeah but anyway we defeated nakono nakonohara <clears throat> so yes so pretty much at this point you know you defeat him then he starts having a change of heart, pretty much, and everything like that. So, yeah. You're still blaming others, are you, buddy? Huh? Still blaming others. But which, which person? Come on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer, too. Hmm. You shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, exactly. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, yes. right? In that case, won't you change Matarami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Wait, what? Hmm. Change... Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, this will make a perfect reward. Got an attachment pearl. So yeah, after you defeat, um, you know, these potential palace rulers in Mementos, um, their treasure who has not fully manifested still into a bud and everything um you'll acquire it and you'll pretty much get a rare item from it and everything like that so yeah so beware of the clingy ex-boyfriend request completed yes Nakanohara had a change of heart right most likely but how are we supposed to know if we succeeded well the lady posted the dude's name online if he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Mm, you do have a point. Mm -hmm. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. Yeah, you see? Also nice to you be see? Able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of again, that, I we can sell whatever treasure we truly cold hard cash. definitely recommend you guys whenever given the chance, definitely Go deeper, go into mementos leading up to the end of the game. Definitely recommend that. It won't take long. Well, then. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here then. So, I think, do we need a, yeah, let me use auto recover actually real quick. So after that, you could pretty much exit out um, and stuff. And after that, it's pretty much your choice if you want to, uh, pretty much leave um 
leave to the to the entrance or continue down more into the mementos and everything like that you know and i will say this right now you can accept a lot of requests and everything it, and stuff you you don't have to do it one by one it, you could accept as many of those requests as you want um leading to your journey into mementos and everything like that so i will say that and stuff so yeah all right so since morgana wants us to investigate more through so pretty much we gotta go ahead and uh go a little down more let me just try to avoid okay actually we actually need to go over here and everything like that so yeah so i will say this the deeper down you go to mementos the stronger the shadows will get so just giving you guys a heads up also there's gonna be moments actually actually i'll wait until the game I'll t uh, I, I i i was gonna say it right now but I'll, I'll wait until the game explains it i totally forgot because there is gonna be like a certain element uh in mementos and everything but i did realize that i think later on into it it'll explain it'll explain it pretty much and everything like that so yeah but yeah since yes it's it's pretty much a train it's like a whole underground and everything it's what also spawned the inspiration for the smash brothers stage which i believe it's a good stage i believe mementos in smash brothers uh, ultimate is a good stage and everything like that it just really sucks that freaking a lot of these stages um and stuff are pretty much banned because like man dude like uh, some of these stages have great music and everything but obviously you know the landscape of it or like stage hazards or something like that because mementos in smash Bros. ultimate definitely has a lot of stage ha uh definitely has stage hazards and everything like that and stuff so yeah but what is this and a dead end at that why does it even exist now hold on just watch this is most likely not an ordinary okay hall. if my hunch is correct Oh, what, what's going on? Oh my lord, it just opened. It opened. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. See? It's just as I thought. Oh. What do you mean? That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it would be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's got to be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we oh. try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back and I'll explain more once we're home. So the more recognition we get, the more the doors open. We get further down into Mementos. Hey, look. Got it. And who is this? In Mementos? Hmm. Huh? Maybe Whoa. This one. It just made himself a cocktail. Ooh, Little boy. Tasty. Aren't you a little too young to be drinking that? <laughs> something strange for a second so who are you guys we should be asking you that good point sorry about that it's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name thanks for reminding me mr um tanuki no um <laughs> <laughs> oh boy you <laughs> called it a cat and I'm not run whoever you are Confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. Jose. Okay. Um, running around. I didn't know people. It's almost like Jose, but it's I guess it's spelled differently. It's Jose. Wait, wait, that's not important. Who it's pronounced differently. I was gonna say spelled differently. Like it's just spelled the same thing, but it's pronounced flowers. differently. Did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turn a flower into studying a Studying humans? What are you, an alien? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? Hey, could you guys help me with my research? How? 
by collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. Well, what do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it, and it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty Oh. <laughs> <lady. laughs> <laughs> Probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What do you say? Well, definitely you doesn't sound like a bad trade. Let's help him. Thanks. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud. Ah, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. I am not a cat. And I'm not grumpy. Uh, oh, okay. Then are you hungry? <laughs> you <know you're> hungry? <laughs> He's hangry. <laughs> you can have this. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. Oh, poor Mona. <laughs> for flowers around here so stop by and say hi if you see me oh and i guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring huh since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much i'll come up with some fun games for you okay oh, i also remembered something humans like to say to each other good job who in the hell was that if he's studying humans does that mean he isn't one <laughs> i mean he just seemed like some nice kid well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants... Maybe he, sound, he, he, he does sound like he'll be probably be a potential villain for the next game. I don't know. <laughs> hey. Something for us? I picked something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. Ooh. Huh. What the heck is that? It's a star. At least it's what they li look like. So that's what I call them. A star? Um. So what a do you do with it? Humans make wishes on stars, right? So that's stars granting wishes. So this star is going to grant your wishes. Huh? Wait. Our wishes? <laughs> or it would be nice to think that. Nice to think that. Seriously? Hey. I'll give this to you. So it's so sparkly and beautiful. It's a sign of our friendship. I know what it, it, that is. Doing good? Off I go now. Good job. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. And there he goes again. Well, there he goes. <laughs> A star, huh? He said he'd grant our wishes or something. I highly doubt something like that would actually happen, even in Mementos. Well, I guess you can at least try making a wish. Okay, I wish for all-you-can-eat parfaits with zero calories. An extra large beef bowl with pork soup and... Nothing's happening. Was Skull wish too petty? You're one to talk. Hmm, I guess things don't just happen easily. We can't just throw things away. Hold on to it for now. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Let's head back. Hmm, I wonder what that star's for. We'll definitely figure out that out later. Mementos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Mm -hmm. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, hmm. I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos. 
No matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I... I just needed pawns. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. <laughs> I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... be relying on you. Definitely. Guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy? Or might you be a girl? Definitely a boy. Could be a cat. That is a possibility. <laughs> I wish I could deny it, but... I just can't be sure. Why not? In any case... Of course I'm male. I mean, I... What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. Definitely. There any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous. Oh yeah, we definitely. We'll get well tons known. of them. The That's for sure. Targets, after all. First, you need to find a way to get Oh yeah, I games. totally forgot. Big exams. I gotta yes, study. you gotta study, Ryuji. You gotta study. You can now go to Mementos. This was where you'll change the hearts of petty criminals who do not have their own palaces. Yes, for now, be patient until the next target appears.